I've never mic'd up this particular piano or used these mics for a piano, so it'll be interesting. Um, for uprights like this, I mean, I'd love if this beautiful piece wasn't here. It would be much easier, but it is. Um, Watch out. We're more or less going to get... Is that coming off? Oh, God, no. It's fine. Uh, we're cool. We're cool. We're not going... Grandma's piano. <laughs> um, what we're just going to do is a, a very basic stereo miking, a spaced pair. Essentially, one mic for the right, one mic for the left. Um, and we're going to see how it sounds. Panels are a bit tough. You want to point it at the soundboard. A lot of times you can find interesting places to mic pianos, from the back or the bottom. Um, a lot of the sound comes from the wood, not from the strings. So you don't necessarily have to eyeball what, where the strings are. The more you point it at the strings, the kind of more hammer sound you're going to get. Um, but we're using this piano as an as a intense layer more than anything. We're going to just kind of wash it out in reverb. So it just kind of goes boosh. So all I'm really making sure is that I get a nice, big, fat sound out of it. Um, and we'll give it a shot. We'll see. I might have to come in here and move these around, but hopefully not. What am I doing? I want to do space bear. Oh, actually, that'd be good, yeah. Yeah. All right, you know what? They're in mono. It's not going to do me that much. <laughs> oh. That's pretty, pretty hefty. Is it? Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, I think it's so hearing was that I didn't have my mics quite set at the same height and it just sounded funky to me. But now I like it. Alright, I'm gonna go in there and just talk to him a little bit about the part that we're gonna have to play. Um, all we need is downbeat chords, right? I prefer to keep it as octave and fifty as we can. If you want to hit a third, go for it. Just be careful about it. This is really just for power. Now, first chorus, first post chorus, even probably second chorus, maybe second post chorus, don't go this guy. Just keep it there and there. Yeah. Okay. And because I don't want this to come in, I think, until the bridge. That's going to be like Hammer Hands McGee yeah. when the bridge hits. Because this is going to be something that really boofs up our bridge. Even though it's already doing that. Yeah, exactly. It's got to really We've got kick that. into it. That sounds good. Yeah. So like, so maybe what it is, is choruses are everything above here, thumb, yeah, exactly. Then where does it go? A. And then post choruses. We can go add the thumb or wherever the post was the post chorus do. That was from we, uh, E to, let's, let's yeah, do it again. to there, right? Um, and then bridge is what's that? An A. Well, let's try it. Let's just try it as simple as possible. Don't hit anything that's not on a one. Is essentially what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I don't want any piano-y stuff. Because more or less, no one's even going to notice there's a piano in here, except for us. Just that? A little triad? For the chorus? Yeah, that'd be... Although, I would prefer if it was... this was an inversion of... Okay. Yeah. But we'll keep them nice and pop! Yep, exactly. No, like the first, you had the first one, but yeah, just a good amount of attack on it. And then, as long as you leave yourself room for a little more attack in the bridge. Yeah, that's great. Right, let's try it. 